Halo Reach release date finally announced guys and also we're going to break down how the payment works for that game as well because it might be a little complicated for some of your game pass users so we're going to go into details about that and hcs atlanta dreamhack event happening today on friday this weekend what teams to look out for and how to expect the event to go down so stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details <music> How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving you another news informational video when it comes to Halo. If you like these news informational videos, please make sure to tap that like button. Let me know you want to see some more content like this. So I keep making videos you guys like to watch. Leave a comment down below with your thoughts on Reach coming to PC and Xbox. We have a release date. It's amazing. And also if you have any hopes and dreams for the Atlanta DreamHack event, you know, I will be definitely listening and watching that as much as I possibly can because I do love me some competitive Halo. And so if you want to stay up to date with everything going on within the Halo franchise that's the tv show infinite reach and mcc as a whole halo 5 everything in between make sure you tap subscribe guys keep you up there with everything going on in the community so let's get right into the video here but xbox recently held a gigantic event which is basically their own personal e3 they just held on called xo19 where basically they went over to london they had a big event basically announcing the future of xbox the current update on things new game releases new game announcements and things like that Obviously, with Halo being a Microsoft title and this being a very big event, I was assuming we'd probably get some Halo information, and we certainly did. I was watching the stream, and then all of a sudden, this trailer started playing of Halo Reach. I'm like, oh, something good's gonna happen, and something good did happen. We got the release date for Halo Reach coming to PC and Xbox One on December 3rd. So make sure you mark down your guys' calendars so you have a chance to remember Reach on the 3rd of December. Now this actually kind of caught me off guard because I was not expecting, I was actually kind of worried actually that the release date wouldn't even happen this year. Uh, just because of all the known issues that are still lingering within this build and how mouse and keyboard are still feeling a little bit off. So I did recently stream on Thursday night and I was actually going to dive into a little bit of keyboard mouse play and I was starting to get the hang of it a little bit better. So uh, maybe something changed a little bit. I definitely noticed a lot of game stability was definitely improved a lot with this recent patch that came around back in the back in Tuesday of last week. And talking about the issues that are still plaguing uh, Halo Reach on MCC on PC specifically. Here's a list of all the things that are still known issues as in general stability issues, Steam issues, Windows Store issues, Windows 7 issues, which if you're on Windows 7, you might have actually gotten a flight update, guys. So make sure you check those emails if you're a Windows 7 user. You might have actually gotten an email. In my stream on Thursday night, someone said, hey, I got an invite because I play on Windows 7. And so you know, they definitely got a chance to test out those players as well. They had some progression issues, seasonal overview issues, customization issues, text chat issues, settings issues, general UI navigation issues, uh, gameplay issues as well. So this is a long list of things that 343 still needs to take into account when it comes to uh, getting this game fully polished. Now, these are all, I say for the most part, actually rather minor issues, but they're something that kind of plagued the game a little bit to where it would hinder your experience a little bit, but not too much to the point where it would make you just not want to play the game at all. It performs a lot smoother and just been a much more enjoyable experience for me, especially since my PC is like just good enough to be able to play the game and stream on it at the same time. Uh, if it wasn't streaming for it, I probably would have a lot more uh, stable experience when playing. Let me know in the comment section down below, guys, what's the first thing you're going to do when Reach comes to the MCC? Me, personally, I think I'm going to be jumping into that campaign, playing some legendary campaign, challenging myself on that, and hopefully maybe even upload some videos of that if you guys want to check it out, maybe some highlight videos or just entire campaign walkthroughs or something like that. Let me know in the comment section down below. Like I said, I do read all the comments. Now let's get into how you're going to be able to get this game. Are you going to have to pay for it? What kind of things will you have to pay for? Some parts are free, some parts you have to actually pay for when it comes to reach on the MCC. Let's get into a diagram here. Now this one I figured I'd just do a desktop capture so you guys can kind of just see what I'm talking about here. So this is kind of how the payment scale breaks down for you uh, players out there who are trying to buy this game right now. So say you have Game Pass Ultimate makes it so you can have game all of the xbox content on on xbox and on pc for microsoft games well this game is included it's included with your monthly subscription you don't have to worry about anything like that now if you have the monthly subscription for or the game pass uh microsoft game pass for xbox it includes your original 
MCC greatness right there. Halo Reach multiplayer comes for free. That means also Theater and Forge is also added in for free as well with Reach. Uh, and so, but if you want to play, say, the campaign for ODST, that's $5. If you want to play the campaign and firefight of Reach, that's going to be $9.99 for you guys right there. Now, if you switch over here whoo, to the PC side of things, if you own Game Pass, it's all included. You don't have to worry about that. But if you're looking to buy it by itself right here, guys, uh, Steam requires a free Microsoft account, not additional gold. So keep that in mind when it comes to getting the game on Steam. But you get your general game as a whole. If you want to just buy it up front with the MCC, either on Windows or on uh, Steam. And also the same thing on Windows, on Windows or Steam. If you want to play the ODSC campaign, you do have to uh, buy that separately as well. But keep in mind, if you're just buying... Uh, the MCC on Steam on Windows and you're not signed up for Game Pass, the entirety of the Reach game is available for you. But me, I'm a Game Pass Ultimate guy, so that means the entire game is going to be added into my subscription just fine. I would say to keep in mind, guys, that there might be some kind of deal currently going on right now with Game Pass Ultimate. Keep an eye out for that. This goes, has been going on sale quite often since the announcement back in E3 trying to get people into that system as much as possible, so keep an eye out for that as well. Now, if you're watching this video on Friday, the day it's released, DreamHack Atlanta for HCS has started, which is going to be super awesome. It's the last event of the year, guys, so much like how we had during uh, DreamHack of uh, last year, uh, that was the last professional Halo event. I'm super, the last one was really great, a lot of fun to watch. I'm super excited about this one. I think the competition is probably the, going to be the strongest it's ever been in the last two years since they've been doing the MCC when it comes to competitive game or last year I'd say actually uh, so definitely want to keep an eye out for this one guys because it's probably gonna be a while since we get another uh, event which is, I think DreamHack last year was the last was 2018's last event and then we didn't get one until I believe April or March which for the South by Southwest event if I'm not mistaken or it might have been one before that all right guys so we moved over to the left side here so you guys can see what we're talking about here so DreamHack on Friday they did actually release a schedule which is super nice I love it that they're starting to get more organized with this stuff because I hate just having saying event starts at two o'clock like well, well if there's a specific team or something I want to watch uh, throughout the entire day because it starts at 1 45 for the pre-show Eastern Standard Time and ends and the last game starts at 7 p.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time so a lot of time to play uh, you can see right here we have Tox which is probably the favorite the team the number one team right now in the ranking system uh, for this event is going to be playing at 3 o'clock against Team Chaotic. That's not to be confused with Team Chaotix with like proximity and that whole group. Uh, this is a different team. We'll go into the rosters about that as well. You we have Lux Gaming playing at 4 or 5 o'clock. We have Mantra versus uh, Divi Cloud, which is an kind of oh, interesting name. And then uh, Tox playing again against RGB Esports. And then you have Simplicity versus Infinite at 7 o'clock. Checking out the rosters here, guys. There are some changes when it comes to so many teams. We do have Tox who remained the same roster as we know before. The strong Snake Bite, Lethal Royal 2, and APG combo right there. Lux Game, which actually won the last event. They're currently the reigning champions, I guess you want to call that. Uh, they won the last event, which actually made Tox finish in third place. Uh, but these are the current seedings right now. So number two is Lux Gaming with the same team of Goofy, Ryan Noob, Gabriel, and Gilkey. Uh, another team to keep out is going to be Team Mantra, which were gold members, I believe, in the last event. You got Egos, Pistola, Ace, and Snipedown. Amazing setup of a team right there. But the, the, the lineups in this are so great. Uh, but actually, guys, you want to keep in mind, uh, they actually have a very prominent streamer in the Halo community, Hunter JJX. His team is currently ranked in 7th uh, for Rain is the team name right there. So you definitely want to keep an eye out for that, guys, because uh, I'm going to be rooting for him. You know, I gave him a few hosts. He's hosted me, I think, maybe once or twice before as well. And so, you know, got to support your Halo streamers guys out there. And so I'm definitely would be rooting for him to see how well that team does. And I guess another team to keep an eye out for is the fifth seed, Infinite, com which is commonly Boo Boo Doo Boo, Trippy, and Tusk. Very well-known players in the, co the competitive community there. Now, of course, these are all just preliminary seedings. Uh, once it gets down to online land play, things are known to change. But yeah, the top teams to look out for would be Tox, Lux, uh, Mantra, and I'd say Infinite, and probably also Simplicity. And also, I just want to keep an eye on Rain because we got Hunter JJX, who's a great streamer for the Halo community. Now, if you want to catch those streams, guys, you got to go to mixer.com slash dreamhackhalo, or you can go to twitch.tv slash dreamhackhalo to catch those events on stream. So, yeah, guys, we have the release date announced for Halo Reach. I'm super excited about that. I'm pretty sure the first thing we jump in is probably going to be playing the Legendary Campaign because, ugh. I played it in 4K for that one mission. 
at 60 FPS on PC for the uh, flight right now and tell you guys it, it looks really good. It looks really, really good. <laughs> I can't wait to grind through my unlocks on multiplayer and get some new uh, armor customization setups and stuff like that. Dude, it might be customization videos might even be a thing. You never know. We'll see what happens there. And we also have the HCS DreamHack Atlanta event coming for you guys as well. I will definitely post up a video on, we'll probably we'll talk about on Monday for the podcast or on uh, Tuesday, I would say make a video just kind of recapping the whole thing for the final Halo event. There is supposed to be a big announcement if I remember correctly during that DreamHack Atlanta event which you remember last Atlanta uh, DreamHack event they announced the grassroots program which was huge and so maybe we get something pretty big as well we do know that the grassroots content creator program is currently on hold for bigger things maybe we'll hear about those bigger things at the Atlanta event and uh, you guys better believe I'll be making videos of talking about that here on this channel so if you want to stay up to date with everything going on in Halo make sure you tap subscribe guys keep you guys up to date with everything going on on the channel guys if you're missing any content or uh, new to the channel make sure to check out the videos on the screen right now I'll catch you all in the next video peace out